Welcome to Quiz Express Studio. Quiz Express Studio is the tool that enables you to create your own personalized quizzes. This video will explain the various sections that comprise Quiz Express Studio. In the center of the screen, you see the slide that is currently being edited. You can click on the various elements of the slide to edit and design its content. On the left of the screen, you see the slide thumbnail overview which shows an overview of all slides of the quiz. Lastly, at the top of the screen, you see the ribbon, which organizes the features into a series of tabs at the top of the screen. When you click an item in the slide editor, the commands that apply to the selected item will automatically be shown in the ribbon. On the home section of the ribbon, you can edit your slide in several ways. It also gives access to some other Quiz Express tools. When you select an element on the slide, for example a question, answer, or the slide background, all possible commands and buttons become enabled. In the font section, you can edit the text, text font, style, and size of a selected text element. In the Fill section, you can change the background color and gradient of a question text. The Alignment and Size section gives you the possibility to position and change the size of one or multiple selected elements on a slide or change the depth order of an element. With Find you can easily find a word or phrase in the quiz. The Quiz Wizard helps you create quiz slides or a quiz round. The Quiz Wizard offers guidance in adding new slides or specialized game show rounds to your quiz. For more information, please refer to the video, Getting Started with the Quiz Wizard. Access some other Quiz Express utilities by pressing the external button. From the Insert tab, you can insert a multitude of elements on a slide including audio, speech, pictures, texts, charts, and word games. Here, you can also insert slides by selecting a slide layout in the Quiz Slides section. In order to see all possible layouts, press the drop-down button at the right of the section. The blue placeholders on the slides indicate that a placeholder is present for selecting a picture or video. Please note that the Insert window is not the only way to add slides to your quiz. See our tutorial on creating slides and questions for more information. On the Question tab, you can define the type of the current slide. Just some examples of this are Question, which refers to a question with points countdown clock. Billboard, which is just a static display of information without player interaction. Audience response, which pulls the audience for an opinion. In the timer and points sections, you can set the answer time. You can also set the points that can be won for a correct answer, or points that can be lost for a wrong answer or not answering. You can also set a speed bonus to reward the fastest answering players with additional points. In the Answer Mode section, set whether a question can be answered by all players or if a question is a fastest finger question, also referred to as a buzzer question. The Input Mode section is relevant when playing with Quiz Express Mobile. For an open question, you can set whether the response is a number, letter, or text. When playing the quiz, the mobile phones of the players show a numeric keypad, text entry field, or letter grid in this case. Furthermore, you can set the start of countdown as well as the judgment of a fastest finger question to manual or automatic. The advanced section contains some more advanced question editing options, which will be discussed in another video. On the design tab, you can choose from a range of built-in styles that you can use for your slides in the style section. You can also change the layout of a quiz slide.
you can change the background image as well. On the View section of the View tab, you can switch between Quiz Slides and Category Slides mode. Categories are design templates that you can create, which can be applied to Quiz Slides. This speeds up the design of a personalized quiz significantly. You can also have a full screen preview of the current slide or show the welcome screen with the example quizzes. By ticking the properties checkbox, an additional pane will show up in Quiz Express Studio, which contains all properties of the currently selected element for quick editing. By putting a tick before notes, notes can be added per slide to be used by the quiz master during the quiz. The edit section lets you choose between graphical mode, which is the default mode to design slides, or table mode view where the text content of the slides is shown compactly in a table. From the Quiz Show tab, you can test your full quiz, test the current question, or start the show by pressing Run Production. When testing a quiz, you can simulate playing the quiz with an audience by ticking the Simulate Keypads option. On top of Quiz Express Studio, you see several shortcut icons that can be used for, from left to right. Saving the quiz, running the quiz in test mode, editing in graphical mode, editing in table mode, undoing the last action, redoing the previous action, and customizing the toolbar. This is a general explanation of the Quiz Express Studio environment. For more details, see our other videos.